How's it going boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and today we are doing a follow-up to a video I made about a week ago about the dump and chase being nerfed in this game. I've seen comments saying, Johnny, you don't know what you're talking about, man. They changed the dump from RB to right trigger. So is it true? Could I be the idiot who just didn't know what he was talking about? So we are here live back in free skate with my dangler in EASHL, and I want to show you guys the major difference between right bumper dump and right trigger trigger dump because it's not what you think so first up we're gonna make sure that the puck is on the blue line so we can measure this the right way puck is on the blue line I am using right bumper and flicking up on the right stick ready bang there it is now I want to show you guys specifically what this looks like this is again right bumper so when he flicks it the puck starts to tumble forward all right and it lands before the blue line that is the right bumper next up we're gonna do the right trigger because again I have been accused of not knowing what I'm talking about apparently right trigger goes a lot further the old dump is in the game Johnny you just got to hold down right trigger so we're gonna do the same thing hang on a second let me make sure that I can get the puck right on the blue line just like the other one was there you go it's even a little bit further ahead and this time I'm gonna hold right trigger and tap up on the right stick you ready Boop. Oh yeah, oh that, that old dump definitely still looks like it's in the game. So we're in the same spot. What happens with the puck? You can see it, it tumbles forward just like the right bumper and it lands before the blue line. So what is the difference? I stated in the last video, if you wanted to get the further dump, what you needed to do was hold it down. And this goes for both right trigger or right bumper. We're at the halfway point, I'm holding down right bumper, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, I'm charging it. There you go, it clears the face off circle and the exact same thing for right trigger. If you hold it, charge it up, hold it, hold it, wait for it to get to the right spot and then flick it, it goes past the face-off circle so this is definitive evidence the right trigger and right bumper are exactly the same in terms of dump height and dump length the major difference is something that I'm sure no one has really even caught on to just yet and I'm gonna show you what it actually is so here we go, we got a game between the Golden Knights and the Chicago Blackhawks. It's on Rookie because I just want to show you guys the experiment. The only difference between right trigger dumping and right bumper dumping is visualization. If I were to hold down the right bumper, you can see the dump line pops up on the ice, showing the trajectory of the dump, whether it's off the boards, whether it's all the way down the ice, you can see it. If I am to hold down right trigger, well, the icon passing pops up. Now, this will give you the advantage of calling an audible at the last second. You know what? I'm not going to dump it. I'm going to hit Petrangelo. You see that? So by holding down right bumper, it's going to be either a saucer pass or a dump. You're not going to be able to pass out of that. By holding down right trigger, the icons will pop up. And that is the only difference between right trigger dumping and right bumper dumping. The, the height is no difference. The distance is no difference. And you have to hold both of them down to get the long dump. The only difference, again, is the visualization. All right, so I don't want to hear it anymore boys. I know what I'm talking about. I do this for a living Let's move on